Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. This is Dolphline. Today I'm going to show you how to clear TOA with these free to play units. I'm going to give you some uh, non free to play options obviously, but I'm definitely going to show you how to replace the pay to win, let's say options or the NAF5 options with the free to play units. Free to play units guys, they work. They work really well. So if you want to build, if you want to clear TOA, TOA hard, the teams are going to be the same and you just need a little bit better room quality but if you make your room, your monster tanky enough and decently fast and some decent accuracy on them as well it will work it will work i guarantee you it will work now what team am i using now don't 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 worry about that team this is the team i use the most i basically can auto everything and now you're thinking wait that's not free to play true this is my team though and i'm now gonna show you how you can replace some of these units now i'm gonna show you how to replace one by one if you have these units though use these units because they are really crazy fran jean you gotta have them they're free to play you gotta have it if you don't have them build them farm them jean is a feasible monster it takes a long time doffler to build yes it does but there is an event going on now the that you can fuse enough five like really really easily so video jean video jean if you want to know how to run jean check the video over here the link over here and it's going to tell you how to run jean but yeah build jean she's amazing you can use that in toa you can use that in hoh you can use that in uh, siege defenses you can use that in arena defense, you can use that in RTA, of, in RTA offense, in RTA, if the enemy doesn't have immunity, she's gonna be really, really annoying. So build your Jean, if you don't have her, build her. With these events, it's gonna be super easy to build her, and you're gonna get free skill ups as well. Skill ups also, guys, are really important for your TOA team. Without skill ups, it means you're gonna have a little bit better rune quality, rune quality so it can uh, it can balance it out if you don't have skill ups you definitely need better runes but try to skill up your unit again jean is fusible so try maybe to fuse jeans to skill her up or i honestly feather with some diamonds and uh, you shouldn't be doing that but i don't feel guilty about it she's that good that i don't feel guilty about that anyway instead of ganymede if you have this dragon, go for him. It's amazing. He doesn't reset the opponent, but it ventilates all your team. So that's really good as well. That's really, really good. If you don't have Jameer, obviously you can go with a really free to play version of Jameer and Ganmi, which is Mav. This guy is really underrated. Honestly, in the beginning of the game, people were telling me, build Mav, he's gonna help you with TOA. I wouldn't build him because I didn't like, <laughs> didn't like the design and stuff. But when I built him, I could clear TOA for the first time. My one is not built because I don't use him anymore. But you should build him on speed HP, HP probably. Give him some accuracy. He ventilate, it reduce cool cooldown time by one on every single monster of yours. Increase the attack speed so your monster gonna be faster. And uh, yeah, and removes one and full effect on all ally. Now, the point of TOA of your team in TOA is to not let the AI move at all. But if they do move, it's gonna cleanse one and full effect for each ally of yours. This is gonna provoke and he's gonna heal himself by 25%. Because, yeah, and it's gonna provoke by 75%. With skill ups, I'm pretty sure it goes higher. And the provoke can be really, really good against bosses. So they don't use that skill two or three. They just go with skill one. They, the bosses hit hard, the bosses hit hard anyway. So you kinda want your mouth to be pretty tanky. So you can take some hits. And skill one, guys, stuns. So that's why I'm saying you need accuracy because you wanna provoke for sure and you wanna stun. So try to get some accuracy on him, 45 accuracy, accuracy should be enough, uh, everything else, just go speed, HP, HP. Probably try to get Mav to go the last one in your team, so you reduce cooldown on everybody. Um, so yeah, Mav, instead of uh, Rika, I have few options as well, 
you can definitely use this guy he's amazing he's, he is really good again I don't use him anymore so it's not built but for my first clear on TOA I've used him and he's super nice speed HP HP speed HP I would say speed HP HP get some accuracy from the subs go 45 accuracy should be enough the higher yeah I mean is PVE so the resistance on the opponents is not gonna be that high anyway so speed HP HP try to make him tanky try to make him decently fast and that should work honestly this person is the best also sorry guys for map try to go violent it needs to be the slowest one in the team anyway the slowest one I don't mean plus zero speed yeah there's a couple of speeds lower than the fourth monster for Baretta speed HP HP on this pair is amazing because he has an AOE so he, he beside the two dots AOE two dots each opponent he can stun as well so this pair is amazing skill 2 is not bad because sometimes opponents are about to get a turn but he can get the attack bar to zero that's pretty good as well and skill 1 doesn't do much but if you have this pair you can still you have like stun chances so it's amazing it's pretty good and uh, the little skill speed is pretty good as well so you can use him if you uh, also if you don't want to actually if you don't want to use Barretta you can um, you can make a lot of stuff this guy's pretty good Grim Reaper is actually pretty good he dots two dots on the opponent AoE without touching them so you see how this is gonna be really good against the Ragdoll stage a ragdoll if you crit on them obviously they get attack bar and they get a lot of turns but with this you're not gonna actually hit them you're just gonna dot them so they're not gonna get any attack bar decrease the enemy's attack speed with freezing shields for free turn and freezes the enemy for one turn so he freezes for one turn as well and slow for three turns that's not bad at all so yeah i would is pretty good i never build him because i had barretta and uh, I had, hold on, if you don't want to use it, or, or actually, if you have this, the Dark Grim Reaper is actually better than Water 1. It has the sa same skill too with the dots, but skill 3, if you actually have slow, fall on the enemy and inflict damage increase, increases with time, send enemy for one time if the enemy is un So yeah, if the enemy has F dots, the skill 3 is guaranteed stun, which is really good as a CC in TOA. So you guarantee stun for one turn. Cooldown, I think, is like 5 turns when you skill him up. It should be around 5 turns when you skill him up. So it's kind of long, but every stun is not bad and it's guaranteed. So you don't really need the, uh, accuracy, but you're going to need accuracy for this. I would say you don't need this spell for him. <coughs> Sorry. You don't need this pair for him because obviously he's gonna he's not gonna hit the opponent with skill two so you definitely don't need dot uh accuracy for him the speed hp hp is amazing if you if you have this monster though i would got like i would suggest you use it because it's really really good has been in my team for the longest time mantra is amazing it has two aoe's it has dots he has defense break, he has two AoE, so this pair is amazing, so you can just, you have two dispersed stun AoE chances. Also this is every two turns, so every other turn you have again dispersed chances AoE, it's low. So Mantra is a really good monster and strip on skill 1 for those annoying like water, death knights, um, TOA floors. So, like when the water death knight gets all the buffs up it's really annoying you're probably not gonna clear that anymore so this this ship can come in clutch sometimes obviously if you guys have Varad Varad is an amazing monster for TOA absolutely crazy good he has the two AOE freeze he decreases attack bar to zero with the skill free Varad is probably the best monster for TOA so if you have Varad, please use him. So maybe use Barretta here and Varad on last on last slot. Other monster that I would suggest you use, I use this team as well a lot on some boss stages. You can change Cesarean for something else. Sometimes want to decrease attack bar more. 
So you might I use Hua honestly sometimes, especially for the for the boss, I use Hua. For the male boss, I use Hua. For the female boss, I use Tesalion. So I can Oblivion the two one on the side and uh, just kill them easily with Oblivion. So they don't pop their passive. But I use this team, especially with the bosses, because Spectra skill two hits so hard. That is crazy, it's crazy. It scales on max HP on the um, enemy's max HP, so it's gonna do a lot of damage. Honestly, if you can be that, like, I don't use Spectrum much anymore, but even like this, it's really, really hard. So, if you can get some extra crit damage, I never change my Spectra, honestly. Shame on me. But Spectra hits really hard, so instead of crit rate here, probably you can go crit damage and be like, speak with. Speak with damage HP is fine on Spectra. Get some accuracy, cause look, uh, skill free uh, is actually pretty good. Decrease attack bar of the opponents by 30%, and also it does slow for two turn. Slow debuff for two turn. Now you can take on Awaken the Spectra as well. Now you can take on Awaken Spectra, I haven't done mine yet, but you can definitely take on Awaken Spectra, it's gonna have better base stats. It's gonna be much easier to build. Uh, this team, honest, obviously, if you don't have Arthur, it's gonna be a little bit of a problem. But if you have like a Verad, if you have, you can use Jean honestly. You can use Jean instead of her, because you just CC the opponent for two turn. They're gonna attack Jean. She should have invincibility anyway, so she shouldn't take that much damage. In the meantime, also you can ventilate with Jamir. If you don't have Jamir, guys, you know who you should switch the Jameer wave, use Mav, use Mav, um, so yeah, this is a free to play team, Hua might not be, but yeah, so you have the defense break, once you CC all the opponent, you then focus them one by one, this is really good for the boss, because Spectra does damage based on the enemy's max HP, and the bosses have a lot of enemy max HP, I use Jameer, because this hit like based on enemies max HP as well and that's a lot of damage that's really big damage so violence for Jameer obviously Spectra you can build Spectra on Swift so you don't have to focus on speed too much because Spectra base speed is so high that with the, with the Swift set you're gonna get like 35 I think speed just from the set so you're gonna be good to go with that get it like Decently tanky because this is gonna hit Spectra as well, consume 10% of your HP, and that's when uh, Belladion come in. So with a heal, with attack bar increase, Belladion also has the defense break. Guys, if you're using Spectra, honestly, you can use Lean instead of Spectra, or you can use Lean instead of Jamir, and then you switch this for Mav. But if you if you wanna deal with the boss like that. You can use Lean, she does a lot of damage based on the enemy's max HP. You can use this guy. Lean is not free to play, so you can use Crow. Crow is free to play, and it does tons of damage. Skill free can put the bronze, and also the damage increases by 50% for each harmful effect on the enemy. And uh, TOA, you usually have a lot of debuffs going on the enemy, so Crow definitely is gonna do a lot of damage on them. So uh, for the bosses, I would say Crow is pretty decent, Lean is pretty decent, Spectra is really good, um, Jameer if you have Jameer, go with Jameer, it hits really hard, it ventilates every single skill on your, like, on everybody, on everybody, and uh, and it's really hard, it hits really hard. So yeah, these are the monsters, also I forgot to mention one monster that can CC, and it's not free to play, but it's a 4 star. He's a force, so you shouldn't be too hard to get him. It's Tyrone. He has the stun, the free, sorry, on skill 3. Skill 2, if uh, they have the slow on them, it decreases the attack bar basically well, by 75%. So, yeah, it's really good. This freezes, and uh, I think it's slow. Attacks on enemies also and decrease their attack speed. Yeah, it slows for 2 turns and freezes for 1 turn. Also, you can follow up with this. So you decrease the attack part to zero again. So you have more time to to load the cooldown on this one. That is four turn anyway. So should be able to use this again pretty pretty quickly. 
and you add the speed lead as well. That one is actually really, really good for TOA guys. So if you have him and you don't have a rod, he's a mini rod really, but if you don't have a rod, you can use him. Definitely you can use him. This is absolutely crazy. So these are the options guys. Honestly, there is a lot of free to play option. Beretta is amazing. Bella is pretty good. Jean is great. Fran is great. Again, Beretta is great. The um, Grim Reapers are pretty good because they don't even hit the opponent. But if you want to use something like this with uh, big damage, yeah, Spectra is amazing as well. Don't forget, if you're using Spectra, you're going to need a defense breaker. So don't go with Spectra without defense break because it's not going to do that much damage. It's not. Uh, also, guys, one thing I want to mention is if you're doing TOA, the point of TOA of your team is to avoid, like, to not let don't let the other team get one turn so you're gonna have to be decently fast or you're gonna have you're gonna need some kind of cc you're gonna need some kind of like denial of turn for the opponent so like mostly like arthur obviously Verad. Verad is better because even if you freeze you can still attack the opponent with arthur then you're gonna have to deal one by one it's gonna be slower with Verad, you can just go for it Guys, you can use this team as well. I mean, you don't need this. You can go, literally, you can go Jean as well. And you don't need this. You pr probably can go Fran. Also, you don't need Ganymede. You can go Barretta there. This is a pretty good team as well. Because this girl has two AoE stun skills. AoE stuns on skill 2, AoE stuns on skill 3. So, you know, it's pretty good. She has AoE stun as well. You get. AOE CC, you get the heal, you get the attack buff, you get the AOE uh, dots. So this team is actually really good as well. Not free to play, twins are not free to play, but right now, by now guys, you should have the twins. We had so many four star events, we could choose from four stars which one to pick. So you, you should have the twins, they've been out for so long, they're four stars. I know they're not free to play, but yeah, but yeah, guys, bear this in mind you wanna deny turns to the opponent so try to use this kind of team with cc jean don't deny turns but they need to use skill one only they can use just skill one so that's a big thing if you have the immunity from fran as well that's skill one it's not gonna do much so yeah Beretta is amazing tyrone is amazing uh mantra if you have but it's not free to play that's not free to play it's a legendary night free it's not that easy to get guys another one that i want to mention is this guy he can put a lot of dots he has three aoe's i feel like the homunculus i don't give him too much credit i don't think he's that good but for toa is actually really really good he can decrease attack bar he has three aoe's obviously build him on this pair. speed hp hp is fine he adds dots to the opponents and Hold on. So observe the attack bar by 30% each with a 60% chance. So you can get another turn when you use that. Attacks all enemies to inflict two continuous damage effect for two turns. One continuous damage effect is inflicted additionally for each harmful effect on enemies with a 50% chance. So if you have Beretta, <laughs> if you have Beretta, this guy can, and Beretta puts two dots. On the opponent this guy can put four dots because two two dots is is guaranteed from the first part of the skill i mean it's gonna go through a resistance check but two dots is from the from the skill and two extra dots because one continuous damage effect additionally for each harmful effect on the enemy so the more harmful effect on an enemy you have the more dots is gonna put so yeah, Amaculous guys is free to play as well. Build him. He has three AoEs. Build him on this part. He's gonna stun something. So guys, don't forget this. Build your units with some accuracy. Don't forget. Build your units with some speed. Try to get them decently tanky. And guys, I've seen so many teams, so many units on uh, on some of my viewers team with plus nine runes not gonna work not gonna work toa 
may be able to. Tier hard, not gonna work, guys. Plus 15 your runes, especially it's not 2, 4, and 6. So 1, 3, and 5, it's plus 12 them. So you can get the extra substats or the extra roll on the substat, and you get the most out of it. So, guys, don't forget, CC your opponent, get some accuracy on your units, skill them up. Skill ups are really, really important as well. Plus 15 or plus 12 your 1, 3, and 5 slots. And uh, you should be good to go, guys. TOA is not too hard if you follow these steps. If you use this monster, it should be really easy for you to clear it, guys. That's gonna be it for the guide. I was hoping to get it kind of like shorter, but I wanted to cover it all, and I want to tell you guys how to ruin the units. And uh, it took it took too long, I think. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really, really hope this video helped you with the TOA and TOA hard clear. It's really important for you to do TO and TO hard because you get a lot of crystals out of it. You can get chances of getting light and dark monsters. You get chances of getting enough fire from the scrolls you get, but mostly for the crystals and for the devil moon. That's the main reason why I do TO and TO hard. Then the scrolls, everybody likes to pop the scrolls, but mostly for the crystals and for the devil moons. Guys, again, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helped. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye guys and stay safe yeah. Bye everybody.